Hey YouTube, it's me. Oh, I forgot to check to see what wedding series video this is. One second. Oh, what? A hundred and thirty-first wedding series video. I cannot believe it. So it's not an unboxing. It is an update. So I took among myself when I had free time at work to make like a checklist. So I know I still have like a year left, but time goes so fast. I don't want to um I don't want to um be like laid back and say, Oh I have a year, I have a year but I, like I said, time goes so fast. So I was on my phone with my little beautiful phone blingy blingy thing and I made a whole I let me see if I have to make this Okay, good. You don't have to make it a little darker. So I made like a whole checklist, but I'm gonna make one like a visible one for here so I will show you like as far as like a paper one like I'm gonna hang it up somewhere but this is just like a, a, a what you call it a rough draft of what I'm gonna do so okay so here you go so what I did was I basically put them in like little boxes I don't know if you guys can see it I'm gonna explain everything that this is the whole thing so, I'm going to start from the beginning. So, I'm doing this as a July, starting a July basis. Oh, and another thing, sorry. sorry. So, the other day, I was looking back at my video, and I noticed, like, the one that Ginger was on my lap, that my belly was so big. Trust me, my belly is not that big. I think it's that shirt. So, here is my belly. True belly. Well, you guys can't see it. But my true belly. No, I'm not doing anything. Just... I think I have to do something with that shirt. That shirt is a no bueno shirt. It makes me look big. <laughs> so I am not that big. Trust me, my stomach is not that crazy big. Alright. So anyways. So. We're going to start from the top. So it's called a wedding checklist and schedule list. So I already shared this with my fiance. So he's like, that's so good. But I told him that we literally have to. What in the world? My makeup is running. Sorry, it's distracting you. But we literally have to stick to it because the way that I put it, everything falls into place. So, so the wedding, and I'm going to make another video when I make it on paper, but I want to show it to you digital as first, as the rough draft. So, first thing is July. It's going to be the engagement party. Parties. Ooh, I gotta make that different. Parties. Engagement parties. That's gonna be in July, which is right there. And then the next four months, three to four months, I'm gonna have to get the cake, florist, both engagement engagement photo shoot one and two, and my wedding dress. So in four months from now. I have to get those done. I cannot move on to the next month until those are done. So as far as the engagement parties, you know, it's not in here, not in New York. So everything is taken care of. You know, we decided on the menu and everything like that. Everything is taken care of. As far as the florist, um, the reason why I still put it there is because we're still in the process. We did not sign any contract. We did not, like, meet her officially. As an appointment, sit down appointment, and then as the cake, we still have a cake tasting um, this coming weekend, and a wedding dress. I already have, I already wrote down a few, um, a few wedding dress stores that I want to visit. Um, I, I, what I did is I, I went online to see if they need appointments, and some of them you can just be walking basis, and some of them are appointments. So that's another thing. And then the engagement photo, should, yeah, but the wedding dress is, like, the most important right now. Um, so, like I told you, I was good. And then the next three to four months, I have to have these couple of things down. And then, yeah. And then October, um, what we're going to focus on in October is the save the days. So, we're going to look for save the days. After these important things are done... After the cake, florist, wedding dress, and engagement photo shoots are done, 
we have an October is the month of doing a whole save the days. So we're going to create save the days and send out save the days in October by itself. That whole month is going to be dedicated for that. November, December. So we're going to decide where and to start planning and booking for the honeymoon. Um, then we're going to do um, bridesmaids dresses and then flower girl stuff and the bridal party stuff. So November, December, that stuff should be on the boat uh, roll. You know, it's like starting already. So like this week, no, yeah, what was it? Yes, Friday. I went to um, Davis Bridals just to get a whole idea of how to make appointments and stuff like that. So I did not know Davis Bridal does not cho uh, charge you for how big you are. So no matter how big you are, it will be the same price. The problem is, is if you're really tall and you need extra length, it's going to cost more and it's going to take longer to, to get. So that's why I made it November, December. So November, December in that area, we should know what type of bridesmaids dresses we want. And start the process because also um, I have to tell my cousin who's in UK the style number that we decided and um, and um, we get to see like she gets to try it on and stuff like that because I think the UK it takes a little bit longer for her to get get it and I prefer I prefer to go to her and then she brings it to the United States after she try on and fit and everything it's better than just having it here for her and holding it because she's probably not going to come here until like a couple of days before the wedding and there's no way alterations can be done by then january is going to be the biggest month so it's a new year it's 2019 in january so i have a pretty long list for january so i have to we have to figure out the transport wedding day's transportation for me wedding chase blah, blah, I can't talk. I'm so tired. Wedding day transportation for my bridal party. Uh, wedding transportation for the guests. Then I'm going to have to think about hair, makeup, nails, waxing salons, and tanning salons. So what I mean by that, I'm not going to get my hair and nails and that stuff done for that. I'm just wanting to have like the information and get the ball rolling. So for instance, like today my fiance found out in macy's that they have a glam squad where you just like at, um hire a makeup artist and from any booth of the makeup place so if you use clinique you can hire somebody from clinic but you have to go through the glam squad um so i'm gonna look into that so i have two options for it already but again i'm gonna focus that on january but i do have two options of either doing my friend Who's a makeup artist on the side or one of those people in Macy's? As far as waxing salon, so I have to do my research to make sure because I want to be totally hairless. As you can see, hairless, no hair. I don't want no hair on your fingers. You see, I have hair on my fingers, which is unusual. And when he slips that ring on, I don't want no hair. Um, so yeah, I want to be completely, and I have to look for a natural one. I don't like those ones that you go to like a nail salon and get it done. I want a natural one. Um, and then as far as tanning salon, I really want to just get a little glow because I'm kind of pale. I mean, this camera doesn't really do me justice, but I'm pretty pale, like you guys can see. So I just want a whole tanning. So I have to look for that in January, but not book it, but get information and look around and ask people and stuff like that. <laughs> February, March, it's time to start looking for invitation, like wedding invitations, design invitations, like what a lot of people are doing these times, like I heard, um, and when I was in the bridal expo too, that brides like to do themselves the wedding invitations, but the company sends everything, so you put them together, so my, I feel like my wedding pack, my, my, wedding invitation package is going to be pretty big because um because um i'm gonna be like giving them like hotel information um and then i'm going to 
give them like the RSVP, I'm going to give them the directions if they're going by car, I'm going to give them a ticket because if you guys don't remember, I am doing a shuttle bus, so anybody who does not is not in the city or does not really know the city, I will have a shuttle bus from a designated area to drop them to the place, the venue, and then at a designated time, they can pick them up and drop them back here in this in the designated area. So those two things I'm going to think about in February, March, you know, like kind of get that down. Like so wedding invitations and hotel information. So the hotel information, I will print it out into like a card. So what I'll do is that I'll have the hotel's name, their information, the address and then the number. And I'll, I'll have like four or five different hotels around the whole around this in the city in the heart of the city so like around Times Square you know, Bryant Park area you know Grand Central area like in Midtown so it will be easy because like again I told you it's it's gonna be easier to see where they can go and they're everywhere so they can go around and be tourists also May April also like um, because the wedding invitation is February, like beginning February to early May, March, I mean, and then from like mid-March to April, um, I'm going to like do maybe by that time, it will be either my alterations should be here or the bridesmaids alterations, like any alterations that needs to be done should be in by March, April, uh, yeah. Go looking for my accessories, meaning my veil, my shoes, my jewelry, my earrings, my tiara, anything like that. And if I do want a second dress, I can look for that too. Um, or I can get the second dress, like look for the second dress after I find my wedding dress at that time. And also go to find mother of the bride's dress. So I'm um, thinking maybe go to Macy's because Macy has really nice dresses for a good price. Then this is mid-May and mid-April to May. So this is nothing to do with me, but I had to add this because he can know when to start. But it's going to be the tuxedos for the guys and the boys. So you have to, he's going to be organizing a meeting with, you know, different places. So if he does use Men Warehouse, it would be perfect because Men Warehouse and um, David's Bridal for the bridesmaid dresses linked together. So if you buy... A bridesmaid's dress and you tell that they um if you buy the bridesmaid's dresses from david's bridal and tell the item number to men's warehouse they can kind of match it or coordinate it with it if he does not use men's warehouse then we will kind of get an idea but we already kind of know what color idea we want to do so like we were thinking for the for the guys black tuxedo with a black vest white shirt and a gold bow tie the one that goes around the neck so we'll think about that and be by May, mid May to eight May, mid April to May. I cannot talk today. So May June, last minute stuff. Any problems that we need to figure out, we have to figure it out by May June. Um, then June July, will be get, like kind of getting more alterations, get like stuff that needs to be done. And the most important, ring shopping. So, June, July area, we're going to do ring shopping. August, obviously. August is when I'm getting married. On August. In August, the month of August. So, we're going to have to figure out the schedule for the day before and the day of. And figure out how, when people are arriving. I got to add that. People are arriving and some last minute stuff. Okay, then I made another list, but it's a part of it. So I say, I don't know if you guys can see the title, but it says stuff that needs to be figured out, but don't know where to put them right so like for instance like marriage license i don't know when to start look getting the marriage license um honeymoon clothes shopping um rehearsal stuff meetings um thank you gifts for the bridal party wedding favors um figuring out stuff for our officiant when um when to put in our vacation request at work 
bachelor, bachelorette party, bridal shower, and extra decorations if we will need extra decorations for the wedding. So yeah, so that's basically everything. What happened to it? Okay. That's basically everything that is needed. So again, like I told my fiance, every month from now on, we're going to be doing every something wedding related, no matter what. So like I said, it's going to be jam packed. Even though we have a year, it doesn't seem a lot. So anyways, guys, I did not get any boxes. So I will definitely come to you when there is a box or when we have any wedding related stuff. Or if we have a regular vlog stuff. So anyways, guys, I will see you guys soon. Bye. I'm so tired. Bye. Love you.